Hey everybody, Jan Voker here, and uh, today I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you guys. Now, as you guys know, that the fifth season of the National Women's Soccer League will be beginning in April. And of course, with the new relocated team, the North Carolina Courage, which we still have the same 10 teams at this time. <clears throat> now, as you guys recently know, that there's going to be an NWSL expansion coming up next year, which is in 2018. And of course, there are two cities that could be in the running for the expansion of, of, of the NWSL expansion in 2018. That is Los Angeles and Vancouver. But I wanted to make a change also. There's only one city that comes to mind that had the experience of women's soccer with both the WUSA and of course the WPS. That city is Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm taking this opportunity to share with you guys what you guys think. We wanted to have an NWSL team in Atlanta. And of course there's already, you know, a name, name that has been announced. But of course there was a, of course, an ownership group wanted to have not only an NWSL team, but also for a team in the NASL. Now, how, if you have gone to a change.com, I mean, not change.com, but change.org, I already made a petition to bring a National Women's Soccer League to Atlanta. And here's how it is. <clears throat> The National Women's Soccer League had 18 to begin in 2013. Since the new team had been expanding like Houston in 2014 and Orlando in 2016, the NWSL wanted to expand more teams to 14 teams in 2020. We all know that Vancouver and Los Angeles are the front runners for the expansion in 2018, but there's also one other city to bring the city to bring a team in the NWSL. That is in Atlanta. As we already know that Atlanta has an MLS team, Atlanta United FC, ready to begin in March at Bobby Dodd Stadium before opening the new stadium, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, in late July. And of course, it will also be the home of the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta is one of the top 10 metropolitan statistical areas, areas in the United States, with a population nearing 6 million residents. The city of Atlanta is in two counties, Fulton County and DeKalb County. DeKalb County is, in particular, there is a hub of youth soccer activity. Trey Brantley and Southland Partners are working with several government entities, local businesses, and soccer groups to build a large sports complex that will include two stadiums, a smaller stadium with bleachers and turf as well as a larger one with a grass field and individual seating. The sports complex would include soccer fields, baseball diamonds, basketball courts, other youth sports activities, as well as restaurants. Working with local leaders in the county and Georgia youth soccer, Brentley's group will aim to host over 40 youth inter will host 40 youth tournament at the complex per year. The professional teams will serve as the crown jewel of the complex, offering nearby entertainment to those in the eastern Atlanta metro market who don't want to commute downtown to see the MLS team, as well to the cities, excuse me, as well to the families attending the youth tournaments. The small group on the complex could be ready as early as fall of 2017, while the larger stadium will not be ready until 2019. The name of the teams are still under consideration. As far as the man team goes, Brantley confirmed that they have considered using the classic NASL brand, the Atlanta Chiefs, and have consulted a prominent civil rights group about the use of the name. The appeal of the Chiefs is due to the original NASL club history as the first top level pro sports team to bring a championship to Atlanta. The Atlanta Vibe is one of the names under consideration for the women's team. Uh, over the past few months, area investors have been putting plans together to, to build a sporting complex in DeKalb County. 
the new complex would potentially be a home to a NASL and NWSL franchise, if all according to we have played. Atlanta soccer fans, how would you like to see not only Atlanta United FC in 2017, but also an NWSL team coming to Atlanta in 2018? We want your voice to be heard. ATL soccer rules. And of course, ATL soccer will always rule. So, if you guys have not signed a petition to bring an NWSL team to Atlanta, I'll put the link comment. I'll put the link down, down in the bio, and hopefully we want your voice to be heard. We want to bring a lot of people well, to bring an NWSL team in Atlanta, and I promise you that it's going to be a great, great petition to sign it off. Guys, I want you guys to think about it. We all know that the Atlanta Beat was part of the WUSA and, of course, the WPS, right? Now, of course, there's going to be like, now, I already said that there's going to, that there is a new name in for women's professional soccer when it comes to the NWSL, and that is the Atlanta Bot. Now, now, some of you guys may like it, some of you guys may hate it, but I just want to let you guys know, what do you guys think? Should we definitely bring an NWSL team to Atlanta in 2018? And, of course, if you guys like the video, make sure you give yourselves a big thumbs up. And, um, and let us know what you guys think. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jan Voker. And if you guys like this video, well, yeah, like I said, make sure you give yourselves a big thumbs up. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.